What's up guys, MC Stu here, and today we got some news from 10 Forward. We have found out what the winter event ship is gonna be. Let's take a look and see what we got going. All right, so the 10 Forward stream tonight, they showed us what the winter event ship for this year, 2022, and spills over into 2023. Um, is going to be. So we have some confirmation on that. We don't have a lot of details. Let's take a quick look at uh, the beginning of the stream here and um, and see what, what they had going on tonight. Because they, <laughs> they actually announced quite a few things. I'm not going to cover all of them, but uh, we're going to talk about the winter ship and one other one that they did end up just confirming. Um, there was quite a few other things that were leaked out on tonight's stream, but I'm not going to go into that. If you want to check it out, um, go to uh, the, the VOD for uh, tonight's stream and take a look at it for yourself. Or you can check out uh, Casual SAB. He did a whole workup on it and went into some good details. So if you're interested in the spoilers, uh, you can go ahead and check him out. Uh, let's take a look at the beginning here of the 10 forward stream. Uh, we should just dive right in. But before we do that, um, uh, Jeremy, why don't we explain... Uh, what the concept of what we're doing tonight is. So I, I, you know, okay. on Twitter I said we're brainstorming the winter ship, uh, and mm -hmm. that's that is what we're doing. But we're not like picking what ship it's going to be tonight. We are taking a ship that has already been right. chosen to be the winter ship, and designing for that. Yep. And I'm going to be showing everyone here that's following along a little bit about how that thought process came to be. Um, and we can talk a little bit about uh, the broad strokes of what we already know about the ship, which is actually very little. But then together, I hope to engage with the folks watching uh, through Mike, because I can't watch chat while I'm going to be working in spreadsheets. Uh, dream come true for you, I know. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, God, it's it's the best day of my life. <laughs> All right. So what they're doing is basically a live kind of let's figure out what everybody kind of wants the ship to be, not what the ship is, but how they want it put together. There were some some basics that they were going to work around. They didn't confirm anything through this. I think they're really just trying to get live interaction on maybe some of the seating and different things like that. There are some kind of hard rules they have where event ships are only going to have one specialization and it's not going to be a full commander specialization. So they're generally going to be slightly less tiered than what you would get from say a ship that uh, you got out of a box or bought from potentially the sea store um, so they are going to be a little bit underrated compared to that so that's number one number two they said that this is going to be a raider most likely and they did give us a name of it and i'm going to butcher it it was the uh the bear jar bear jar i'm i'm butchering that guys they spelt it at b y r apostrophe j a i um, is the name that they have and that is not confirmed that's just what they're calling it internally it could be called that um, so this is going to be a very small ship it's uh, and let's just pull up a picture of it here um, so they they gave us a green screen version of it i did my best to just drop it onto a different slightly better looking background so we could see it a little bit better here um, but this is going to be a small ship this is basically a reskin of some of the uh the hangar pets that came with previous winter event ships um, so it's a reskin of that and a flyable raider version of it essentially is what we know now i'm probably in the same boat as most of you guys. I'm not a big fan of the winter event ships we've been getting for the last few years. Um, some of them are okay uh, performing. I'm just not a big fan of the way they look. The Vakuri um, are not my go-to when I think of Star Trek. <laughs> um, and is certainly not their ship. So, but it is a free ship. The last couple have been decent. Um, I believe it was a Dreadnought carrier, I want to say, last year. And then the year before that, it was an actual carrier. And then the year before that, it was a warship. So now we're getting a, a Raider is what it looks like. And maybe next year we're going to get a science version of it. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the day to where we move on to maybe something different, a different race or class <laughs> uh, altogether. But again, they're they're free ships. And I can tell you the, the, uh, the warship that they did four or five years ago, uh, it was really good. It, same kind of design kind of inspiration, not a super big fan, but it's a very decent ship. Um, so this is what we got coming up um, for the winter event. 
Um, they went through the stream and like I said, took input and those kinds of things. But at the end, they weren't like, okay, we're, we've got your input and we're going to do X, Y, and Z. So all of this is, um, is likely going to be different. If you go back and watch their live spring, uh, stream, maybe some of it will be the same, but I think it's pretty clear. This is what the ship's going to look like. They've designed the model. This is a 3d model that they had up on a green screen. Um, so th this is what it's going to look like, and it's going to be some sort of Raider scouts, very, very small ship. So this is going to be close to a hangar pet size. Um, that uh, pretty much covers what we're looking at there. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Are you pumped or 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 what are your thoughts? <laughs> Forget about how it looks. Well, I mean, I guess that's all we really have to go on right now, right? Um, so again, the winter ships, I'm not I'm, I'm not the biggest fan, unfortunately. But again, it's a free ship, so I'll take it and I'll be happy about that. Um, so the other thing that um, so what happened was. Um, they accidentally kept pulling up a spreadsheet that was showing upcoming ships. Um, there was quite a bit on there that looked pretty exciting. Um, none of the stuff on there obviously is 100% confirmed until it comes out. I think we can probably say that that stuff is coming out. We just don't know what it's going to look like in terms of seating, specialization traits, those kinds of things. But there was a list on there. Again, I'm not going to go into that. Um, check out Casual SAB's uh, video on that. He just put out uh, yesterday when this video comes out. Um, if you want to get a little more detail on that or watch the live stream. But one of the ships, and they had slipped up and actually verbally said it, and then it came up on the spreadsheet again, and then Kale was just finally like, forget it, but it, it, it's coming. He didn't give us anything in particular, but it's going to be the Farragut. That is the ship that Kirk commanded in the, um, the end of last season of Strange New Worlds. And that is this ship here. This is a just a, a render that I found. Um, this is not from Star Trek Online. Here's some shots of it from the show. We didn't get to see a ton of it. It ended up getting blown up and destroyed. Um, but looks pretty cool. Um, Kirk's ship, probably lockbox is what I'm guessing. I don't know if that, uh, if you can go promo with something like this, but but who knows? Maybe they'll put it in the C store. That would be pretty cool. But most of the stuff that we see on screen is generally in a lockbox, which is kind of a bummer. So I did not see uh, when this was slated for release, but it looked like this was probably the next ship that we would be we would be getting, uh, aside from the the winter event ship. So uh, that'll be cool. Um, I, I think it's kind of a cool looking ship. It's a little bit different. I like most of the ship designs that we're seeing in uh, the Strange New Worlds show. So I'm pretty excited to see what this ends up uh, being like and looking like in game. Um, in the show, it was it was pretty cool looking. A little bit different, but you know, captures that that early Federation design, and uh, and I like it. As for this guy, though, yeah. <laughs> um, but hey, like I said, it's a free ship. You just do that ice race and you'll be able to pick that up here. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think about the Farragut and about, I'm not going to try and say this ship's name again, um, but uh, this is what we got coming up.